Today I'd like to show you how to hook up an aerial to your television. So usually the aerial, aerial port is at the back of your television and it will say right there. It will say antenna cable. Antenna slash cable is usually what they say. You'll have your other ports, your VGA, your HDMI ports and your component and composite ports. But for just hooking up an aerial and then you just need to take what looks like a regular piece of coax usually that comes with your aerial. Or sometimes you'll have what, one of these old UHF loop antennas and it'll be connected with the two ports like that. This is just a push on one so you just simply push it to the back of your TV. And then get the aerial up mounted high on something, preferably in a window, but this will work. This is a UHF, which is called, uh, called a UHF loop antenna, but um, if I put this outside, I would probably still receive my local channels with it. Sometimes a, a little bit better design antenna will work much better, but this will actually work to get you a couple channels. Another antenna I'm going to try out. This is a thrift store find. It's a, I got this from Bibles for Missions. Just, it was $3. And uh, it's a UHF and VHF. Basically rabbit ears. This is also a digital antenna. Because all of uh, the, all of the channels are, mostly the, cha most of the channels are digital. So this will work. Uh, you don't have to worry about, oh, it has to be a digital antenna. An antenna is an antenna. It'll work. Some rabbit ears have a, a, a wall work plug. Just make sure you have that plugged in for the best results. So take your remote and find the menu button on the remote. And you usually have these arrows, kind of like a joystick with an enter in the middle. You just take that and you uh, just go to your channels and find where it says auto channel search is usually the option and you select that and make sure that you've selected your antenna not cable you got your antenna selected on on that and it will begin to scan for your channels another way to do it is just type in a channel that you know is in existence 11.1 is one that's in my area and you hit it and it'll say adding channel and you gotta be in the digital age you gotta be careful of the button that usually has the dash on it so you want to make sure you type in the channel number plus the sub channel even if it's sub channel dash one you want to make sure you enter that in that's a quick and easy way that Say if you just want to scan in one or two channels and not go through a 20 minute scan, you want to watch something right away, just go, in this case, channel 11-.1. And it'll take you to the channel. And usually it'll say adding channel. A helpful button on your remote as well is usually the info button. And if you hit that, it will take you to all of your digital information and it'll tell you if the signal quality is good and it'll also show you the EPG information. 